Prem Sri Kohu Sri Krishna Chaitanya Pramodita Nanda Sri Adwaita Kedai Dara Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinna Ki Yai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopal Gopina Shama Radha Kuna Giri Gaurava Dana Ki Yai Vrindavan Dham Ki Yai Matura Dham Ki Yai Navadip Maipu Dham Ki Yai Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Yai Jagannath Baladev Subhata Devi Ki Yai Jamuna Mai Ki Yai Ganges Mai Ki Jai, Tulasi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Samaveda Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai, Itai Gaura Pemanande, All Glorious Assembly Devotees, All Glorious Assembly Devotees, All Glorious Assembly Devotees, All Glorious Assisi Guru Sri Gauranga, Nama Om Vishnu Kariya Krishna Vita Buddha Lishmati, Bhakti Chuti Shama Vishnu Sri Krishna Kariya Sita Nama, Shri Gaura Karana Shakti Vati Tsuti Chinam Om Magyana Timuran Dasya Gyana Gyana Asada Kayan Chakshu Dumitan Gyana Tashmi Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishnam Sapitan Gyana Vitae Pandeham Shri Gurun Shri Yutapada Kamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavam Sa Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajiva Sadvetam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devan Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shri Visakam Vitam Shang He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Bhagatati Gopisa Gupika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastuti Tata Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavani Shwari 
Jisamana suci dewi panama mi hari fiyen wan cakal petaru biasa kupas menjadi baca hati tanam kabinu baisnu nama Sri Krishna Caitanya Abu Nityananda Sri Adwaita Garuda Sri Vasadi Gauda Bhakta Rinna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Sapaupai Ki Jai Something, eh? And there is something from there. Okay. Something. Reading from spiritual warrior. Conquering the enemies of the mind. Question. And we're looking at by his solemnness back to Titus Fine Manage. We're looking at fear and love. Fear and love. Love versus fear. Sigmund Freud also recognized that people have two basic emotions or instinctive activities. For instance, although people instinctively have the tendency to destroy, devastate, annihilate, and even kill, they also have the tendency to consolidate and maintain. He could also understand that the negative tendencies are based on fear and the positive activities are based on love or the search for love. In my book, Spiritual Warrior 2, I focus on transforming lust into love. In the scriptures, we recognize the existence of <coughs> Prema or ultimate pure love of God, which manifests in different ways. When that love comes in touch with the material energy and the duality, it temporarily turns into lust. This means that the insatiable desire to satisfy lust in this material world is actually misdirected love. Our potential to love has gone in the wrong direction. One metaphysical system known as a cause of miracles explained that is only one love and fear. Anything that interferes with love is negative and is only due to fear. Qualities such as lust, anger, envy, and greed are all connected with fear. As I wrote in Spiritual World 2, every negative action is a cry for love and every positive action is a manifestation of love. Every negative action is a cry for love and every positive action is a manifestation of love. If you simply categorize 
a negative action as negative. We will look ourselves, we will lock ourselves into that duality and even reinforce it. If your beloved feels envious and you categorize it negatively, you will not be able to have a healthy resolution. However, if we see the person's envy as a cry for attention and affection, we will have the ability to deal with him or her in a positive way. <laughs> your own words and actions may have caused your beloved to feel unloved, which then turn into envy or jealousy. When someone expresses anger, we can simply label it as anger or we can see it as a cry for love, for as an expression of fear or as an expression of fear. Try to see how these seemingly negative emotions are cries for love. Try to find ways to bring out this love. For instance, we can simply label these terrorists as demons. But if we look closer at some of their biographies, we will also discover their own cries for love. In one case, the father of one of the terrorists would have called his son a CC. His father wanted him to become a doctor, but he could not reach his goal. He grew up feeling useless with no sense of value. Therefore, he must have constantly felt angry for a sense of identity and a sense of accomplishment. When some of these people hear that they can immediately attain paradise by dying in a religious war, they eagerly embrace this philosophy since their lives are already so full of suffering. Such a negative unbringing particularly acts as a breeding ground for this type of fanatical mentality. When we consider the crimes of such people, we must certainly make out the necessary chastisement. But as spiritualists, we should go deeper and try to discover the real cause behind their actions. Even if we look at the most destructive serial killers, we will also discover that they have some they have come from abusive backgrounds and then abuse others as a way to gain a certain level of power. Their own feeling of powerlessness may now cause them to victimize weaker people. Their cry for love and affection has manifested in perverse ways and has covered over their desire for love. We can constantly look for the lower, mm, for the love factor that needs to be addressed in all of our interactions so that we can try to make a real difference. This is very deep. You know? Yes. This is not <laughs> from a simple mind. 
this is completely after the mundane understanding I was in one place and then the, the duty took me to visit one school. It says, it says, it says, children school. From before we enter into the compound, we just on by the from the road entering. First of all, I look at the the building. Then we enter there and look at the environment. Then I look. I I went I went on top of the whole place. I saw where the students were kept, I look at their kitchen, I look at their dormitory where they sleep. When we came when we came out, I wanted to see the the proprietor of this school. Unfortunately she was not there, she's a lady, so she was not there. So I sent a message to her. So when I was leaving there, they brought a, a notebook for my comment. So I told them, please don't give me this book because what I'm going to write here, you don't like it. So please don't give me the book. So keep it back. He quietly took it back. So I sent a message to the lady. I don't know how long this place will last. Because you wanted to do, you wanted to do a help, you want to render help all the children you brought here but actually it is punishment the place they are sleeping the kitchen they are cooking their food everything was disorganized dirty and the, the children were just left on their own so i told them I don't know how long this place will last because we are punishing these children by keeping them here and they, they resolve with that they will react what will be their reaction they will steal the thing from here and sell as a compensation for the punishment they are receiving in the environment they didn't believe me but it happened like that as, as, as I left after <laughs> one month, it is close to now. So someone, someone, someone who is forced, in good mention here, the, the parent want the child to be a doctor, but the child does not have interest for that it happened to me i want to be a musician but i was not allowed so i did electrical engineering suppose i didn't succeed in passing exams and having difficulty what would be my my life what what does this parent tell the child who is not having good mark in school huh? A useless fool condemned you, ha you have no value you are useless in this family then how will the child feel happy 
encouraged, enthusiastic, that would certainly affect the child. So the child is going to grow with hostility because everything the child is hearing from childhood till he grow up is hostility. Only bad, bad word, how useless one is. We should know that we are creating the future for this person. And this soul is going to be a terrorist tomorrow because it is it, going to have access to a dangerous scripture. I, I'm using the word because Guru Dev used it. Quran and Bible are dangerous scriptures. I came from Bible. So I have idea. I have knowledge about Bible because I studied in school. Dangerous scriptures. In the Bible it is mentioned any sin you commit while you are fasting, you are free. You're not you're not accountable. <laughs> if you are fasting, you can commit any sin, you are free. <laughs> so if one is if one is 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 having this as a scripture, what will what will you, what will what will, what will one do? Huh? But I want to do something sinful, I can fast for it and commit it. So I'm free. And then in the Quran, mm. a person who is struggling to, to afford daily food for maintenance, they're struggling, having difficulty. And someone tells you, <coughs> If you rape a virgin girl, you go to heaven. What will you do? It's a big chance. It's happening in South Africa. If you have AIDS, if you rape a girl, you'll be cured. That's a cure for AIDS. So it's Africa, in South Africa, <laughs> in South Africa, this is going on. <laughs> the cure for aid is to rape a child, baby girl. If you do that, you are cured. I, I don't know how you are too. So when we have a scripture that is teaching this, this kind of philosophy, and one is brought up in that way, naturally, here I'm having difficulty to eat. And look at this opportunity for me here to go to heaven, paradise. There I'm going to have how many? 72 wives. So, should I stay here and suffer like they have difficult to eat? Or should I just do that and go there and there I am with all the facilities for single person? which I cannot get here. So this kind of dangerous scripture will facilitate people's weakness. S someone is already weak, but we have a support even from the scripture that they can do this. Dangerous. So Guru Dev is saying we should look behind every everyone's sinful activity if you look behind we will see that it's a, it's a reaction like I told I told that the proprietress here yeah, and people will steal their thing this is a reaction for not being properly kept well where they came from they have a better life than what they are getting now from the so-called place, they will react negatively. This is very, very high for someone to feel, to feel that someone is angry with me, it's a, it's a call for love. You look behind it, it is true, it's a call for love, because what do we want to get angry? 
I suppose to take my presidium two o'clock. And by two o'clock, two thirty, no presidium. I get angry. Is it not the cause for love? I'm disturbed because I'm supposed to give me presidium by two o'clock. Now the presidium is not there. It's, the anger is called for life. He didn't care for me. He didn't consider me. If he have considered me, then he would have made arrangement for me. So it is true. It's a call for love. All right. Hare Krishna. Questions? Comments? Two scriptures. You just said it is dangerous scriptures. So, why is it those scriptures has come to existence as a reason of condition? Why these scriptures are existing in this age of Kali? <laughs> because we have this tendency. We have the tendency. And Krishna said what? I I reward everybody according to our desire. Krishna reward everybody. And people who are on the lower grade of life and uh, they need this to be provided. Just like if you ask why Krishna has allowed Sankrachara to come. What he did was very destructive, even Buddha, very destructive for preaching Krishna consciousness. People are saved in personalism more than personalism. Wide, widely. They are more candidate for impersonalism than personalism. So for for personality for personalities, you have to have a serious struggle to be able to get people convinced that we are persons. From a, a doctrine which was authorized by Krishna. The same with all the other, other scripture, Bible and Quran. Because they're candidate. So Krishna allows it. Uh, you see that uh, negative action, every negative action, uh, the signal that the person is lacking the, the care. Yes, love and care. Yes. And he also mentioned that we have to find means to extract that to learn from that person. What are the means? One lady. She, she got married. Got a baby. Beating, 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 fighting, fighting, fighting. She left. What for the baby? Second, the same thing. The same thing. She left with two baby. No work. No money. How to take care of two babies? So she started stealing. And at the point she was arrested and she was sentenced to jail. After a few days in jail, she demanded to if she can have access to the judge. And the judge allowed. So she explained. Second marriage, that was second is first one that was second marriage. But I have two kids. There's no husband. There's no money. There's nothing. No job. Nothing. So I have to steal. Since you put me in jail, the two children are hanging in the street. I don't know what is the association. The Majesty released her from the jail.
he felt very bad that he did this. Why? In the beginning, he, he, he took the case from a standard. The second, now he looked at the situation from behind and he saw what has made this woman to do the simple activities she's doing, the situation she got. He released her. So if we find out why someone is doing such things, like this magistrate, he helped her by freeing her from the sentence that was given to her before. So that's helped her to understand, yes, the situation is pushing her to do this sinful activity. But she can be helped. So she will actually go back and look for the way to take care of the, the children. So we can help somebody by looking at what is making this person be angry? What is making this person be envious? What is what is making this person to be envious? Because the, 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 the person is thinking, I'm supposed to have this. I don't have it and you are having it. The enemy will come. If you help the person who is envying your car, take, it, take the person on rides, drive him or her to a supermarket and get something. The envy will go down because he has enjoyed the thing with you. The envy will go down. So you have helped the person. At this moment, he has helped the woman by releasing her from the jail. So we should find out what is responsible for people just now. Fear are many ways, many causes that bring fear. First of all, fear is due to sin, sinful activities. Sinful activity brings fear. Fear also means that <coughs> some negative projection is mm. towards you. Someone is, someone is thinking negatively about you or planning some evil thing against you, it will go to you in the form of fear. <coughs> fear means insecurity. Inf inf inferiority complex brings fear. When, when one feels inferior, incapable, it brings fear. So this, these reasons are there that causes fear. And someone tells lie. Why do we tell lie? I'm, I'm afraid. The fear that, oh, you're going to chastise me, yeah, you're going to give me punishment. So I will tell lie. So if we treat people kindly to, to have the confidence, we be free from fear. We will do ourselves better when we, uh, we are free. Our service will be better. When we serve in fear, the service is not correct. Because out of fear, you can you can drop something from your hand out of fear. But when you you, you are free, you are confident. You do everything with your mind freely. It will be more powerful. So the pure devotees are free from fear because there's no contamination inside. And any negativity project towards them will not have effect. They don't feel anything. They are free. Mm. All right, thank you. Prabhupada Ki